Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, I'm Admiral Pegasus and on today's video we're going to be grading the month. Yes, we are going to be grading the month of Galaxy Quest. Now, obviously the time of recording, as you can see by the red line at the top there, we've got five hours left. Yes, I'm recording this during the, this at least this segment of the video, during the qualifying session of Alliance Tournaments because I want to make sure I get this in with what I actually think of this. Now... Generally, this is a smashing idea. I really do like it. But the problem I have with this, is this dead on arrival? Because I've heard this mentioned by a couple of the content creators like Lubes, like DJ, like Rev, saying that this is dead on arrival. But is it really dead? Well, realistically, for a lot of players, yes. Because as we showed in the last video, You've got things like this. This is, um, what is it? Kill 10, 10 level 40 plus Zindi. Um, so I'm not quite sure where that is on the board. I can't actually see it. But if we click on like a 400 here, this is four uncommon solar matters. Nice and easy to do if you've actually got the directives. If you saved up the directives, you can do this. Not a problem. Rare formation of matters. Again, spend 200 directives. I've actually got thousands because I barely do it, but if you're constantly doing rare uh, formation of matters, you might not have these directives available at current. But then also you've got things like this, kill the swarm. That's easy enough to do for players. Go out, smash the swarm up. But the one thing is as well is things like this. The G6 players obviously spending 3,300 um, G6 materials. Yeah, okay, they can get that <coughs> if they actually save it up. And But one thing is they're also going to get these, these kind of rewards. I mean, th this is pokey little, really. I mean, I, I didn't really think too much of it when I recorded the last video. But it's like 500 points. And where, and where do we take uh, 55 um, credit points? Where, so where are we taking them? Into the store. Yes, you go spend them in here. And obviously, as you can see, I, I haven't even got my total up on the screen yet. But there's several things that I can go buy. Right now, and then the rest are locked behind the leagues, as we previously showed you. And I said, this is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, you've got these p prime particles in here for you to go after. So I actually say, they're the most valuable. Then I also heard today, apparently there has been an announcement saying, make sure you spend these currency. What? Do they not roll over? Oh. Oh. Well, that we'll find out later on because I'll be extremely pissed off if if it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to buy my first um, set of Prime Particles. So um, I don't think I've actually... No, I haven't got enough to buy enough. So, oh, it's finally appeared in the top corner. I've got 905 left. So we'll see what happens with that 905. I mean, there's nothing else really in this level that I really actually want. So, I mean... Yeah, I mean, I could, you could say probably I'd get the Borg Alcove ones. I mean, I'd go for that. So it's another forbidden technology I'd have to update. But um, never mind. So I've got them. Obviously, I can go get a couple more. So we'll just quickly do that. Let's get these. Let's get this done. See how much it takes me down to. Okay, so there we go. I, it's only uh, 14 I could actually get. So what is it? It's an available, it was an available five. So I've got three left there. But that's only giving me 14 shards in total. So that, that's absolutely fine. Um, and also here as well, wait to see how you're doing in, rela in relation to the rest of your own alliance. So as you can see, I've completed eight out of nine. Now, <clears throat> this, was the this was the biggest problem for me. Because in the tasks... I selected a task which, by accident, which was too big for me. It was too much for me. I there's no way I was going to be able to do it. So I had to select a different task. There was no way to cancel it, but it counts towards your attempts. It counts towards your attempts. Eight out of nine. <clears throat> so that was a bit of a piss take, really. The fact I can't make nine actual attempts. I can only have... Nine selections of tasks. That's it. You're only allowed a maximum of nine selections of tasks. That's it. So, 
And then obviously Alliance Leaderboard to see where you are. I mean, oh, bloody yeah, I think that's the highest we've actually been the whole tournament. <laughs> but this is just the qualifying stage. So you've got alliances here. But to get these kind of points that they're getting, these 1 million points, they're having to spend a lot of money because the only way you can equip, get those points is basically going through these 10,000 point um, tasks where it's like, here, acquire 1,500 skill points. Where the hell am I going to get that free to play? I'm not. The only way I'm going to get that is in a pack. But it gives you the better rewards. So basically, you're being rewarded here for spending money. And bear in mind, if you're doing just one of these tasks and you do three a day, so that's nice, that's 900 quid you're having to spend over three days. That's just a qualifier stage. What's it going to be like when we actually enter the tournaments? Well, I'll find that one out. And I'm sure I've, I've already done a bit video on that one, probably. Or maybe even done it in a live stream. But we'll have to wait. Sorry, th that would have been there then. But as of the time of recording this segment, we'll have to wait and see. But here we go. So we've got another, another come up here. So it's like um, quantum communicators for a 1,000. Spend 3, 300 qu qu um, quantum communicators. Well, I'll tell you what. Can we actually do that? Can we actually do that? So, if it goes into it, so back into the base, I'm sure I've got um, a, a, um, a small time thing going. Yeah, District 56, actually. So, as you can see, my command center can be upgraded. Well, thankfully, <laughs> I can spend 300, so at least I'm going to be able to do that. But the problem is, can I actually do that? Yes, I'm recording this on my phone. So let's go back in there. Pray no, nobody's re-rolled it. So, uh, nope, there it is. So quantum communicators, oh, I can't start it. I can't do it. But for a thousand points, what am I getting? Not an awful lot, a lot whatsoever. And a thousand points towards my Alliance leaderboard as well. So, yeah. So it's like, that I could do because obviously, my command center is in the 40s. If you're just starting your command center, well, yeah, you've got no hope. So, is this dead on arrival? I would say no, but it really does need a massive amount of work. I shouldn't have, nobody should have to go spend $100 just to complete this particular task. These should be doable free to play this is supposed to be a competition for all players in the game all players not the top five percent of the game okay maybe it's more than that but just to put a, a basic figure it should not be basically the top five percent of the players of this game burdening the shoulder just to get your alliance onto this particular 100 position leaderboard 100 position, right? But once you get to that 100, so we go down to a... Uh, can, no, it's not going to do it. So we'll scroll down there to the 100 point. You can't go any further. Look at the total number of participants for the EU servers. 2,311. Can I see the rest of those leagues, alliances? No, I can't. And it doesn't even tell me what server these alliances are off anyway, but that's a nitpick. So... Realistically, yeah, all right, okay, it's a great concept, and I really want to get stuck in with this. But don't limit us to three attempts. Let us do as many as we want. Let us do as many as we want. So, now, obviously, communication with this as well has been fantastic, but another thing I'm just going to add in for the Alliance Tournaments is the events that they put around it as well. Um. So, no, I want events, please. <laughs> So we've got um, Go Now Go. This was um, an SMS milestone originally set at nine points. Nine points. So basically you had to do 100% completion of events. Not, not basically say, oh, sh I didn't mean to pick that one. Oh, crap, I've lost it because I've lost that attempt. So they reduced it to seven. That was great. Bring it down further. Make it six. If you're going to make it with players making a mistake, you're going to get punished. For making a mistake, bring it down to six. That's what I'm going to say. Bring it down to six. And realistically, three shards of an epic officer. Woo! 
three days participation, you're getting three shards of an officer. Wow. Good job that store's actually quite good. So either get rid of this event or make it a little easier for players to complete and so you're not punishing them for um, events. And then also you got the sequence here as well. This is for the number of re-rolls you actually do. Seriously, three shards of an officer. Yeah, and you've got to. And what is it? How many points you get? You get one point. It's a thousand point. It's a thousand re-roll tokens credits, right? So you get a thousand points. So that's basically thirty re-rolls just to do this. But that's what you've got to do. Not your entire alliance. You. It's an SMS, not an AMS. So as you can see, I've done five re-rolls so far. Am I really going to sit there re-rolling it 30 times just to piss my alliance off in three days? No, I'm not. So get rid of this event. Get rid of it. And then put, put something else out as well with better rewards on it, not just three shards of an epic officer. So realistically... I still say, no, this is not dead on arrival. It's brilliant, but the hell of a lot of work needs to go into it. A hell of a lot of work. Like, don't make it a spender's event, for God's sake. Jesus Christ, let's not make it a spender's event. Let's actually make sure that all players across the board, no matter what their level, no matter what their spending habits, no matter if they just basically want to just help their alliance for free, give them something for it. Because at the end of the day, they are spending time in the game. They're spending time in the game. So, I, I'm sorry. If, I, if I'm going to grade Alliance Tournaments, let, let's just put it up on the big screen. And then I'm going to smash a letter over the top of it. So, let's put the tasks up. Okay, let's put the tasks up. There you go. Yeah. Sorry, I, I can't grade it any higher. I literally can't grade this any higher. It's not dead on arrival for me. It's still great. I can still participate. I can still do stuff. But when it comes to me, yes, fine. I'm in 15th place in my alliance. I mean, how many players of our alliance have actually participated in this? We've got only 70 so far. 70. And this poor guy at the bottom has only done one event. And he's only scored 400 points. How is he meant to feel like he's helping the Alliance here? How is he meant to feel he's helping the Alliance when you've got probably like, come on, bring the Alliance tags, tags up, like spending G6 materials. Well, why not let us spend G3, G4, G5 materials? Give us the same levels. That would push a player up. No, spend G6. Give us, give us the other grades to spend. Mess all credits. Spend 60,000 replicator rations. Okay, that's probably achievable. Let me just have a quick look. Again, sorry about this. This one's going on long. I'll try and keep the rest of the video short. But here, I don't even know how much I need to spend for the next level. But I still need to get loads of levels up. But yet, to get those level, loads of levels, what do I need? Oh, I need more officer XP. I've got loads of officers that need leveling up so if we take it right down here i've got loads on here we go so we've got 20 so this is yeah right so this is the start of where i need to go so i've got two levels there four levels five levels nine levels 10 10 10 10 right and that's if they are um at grade five so there's still there that that need to be leveled up oh sorry badge is not even tier five yet but if we look into here to do Mariner, I need 2.6 million. Obviously, she's deployed at the minute. minute. 2.6 million. So, how much Officer XP am I going to need just to get those remaining levels to do to spend those replicate rations on the mess hall? Money, money, money. That's what it is. To me, this is just a spender's event. So, for free to play, yes, you can say it's dead on arrival. But there is ways that they can actually work and help you. But hence the reason why I'm not scoring any higher than a D. Sorry. But anyway, so now we've got the officers up. How about we move on to the officers? 
Okay, so next up we have the officers. We've got the two rares on the far side there, and we've got the three epics down here. Now, the one on the far right, that goes with the um, player tournament, so you'll be getting no shards through there. But we can have a quick look at her as we go through. But basically, I am going to try, because I know the <laughs> the player tournament thing's just gone on a little bit long. Let's try and get this cut down as fast as possible. So, um, Alexander Dane then, worthwhile officer for all free-to-play players based on his blow deck ability, which is increasing your impulse speed by starting off at 20. So that's a nice little start. And then obviously, this one for those who did unlock the NSA protector. Um, so I do apologise, I've got a bit of a annoyance on my face. Um, increasing, uh, what is it? Increasing loot gained by using the NSA protector by 100% and 200 at um, maxed out. So very valuable officer. I will give him that. And then obviously you got the next one is um, Lalari. Um, below deck ability is increasing Apex Bow when you're in wave defense. So basically, um, they said for every 1,000, it's basically doubling your whole health. Well, here you've got a thousand, so that's literally been meaning you can actually go further. Was it a thousand? Was it ten thousand? I think it was ten thousand, wasn't it? It was ten thousand that doubles your whole health. So, but I mean, at rank five, three thousand five hundred, it gives you an extra few kills if that in wave defense. Then a mega efficiency um, increasing the uh, decreases the cooldown of the NSA protectors Omega thirteen ability. Um, Basically bringing it down to 8 minutes at rank 5. So, yeah, another valuable officer. Um, I would definitely go with the uh, below deck ability again for free-to-play players. Um, sourcing for these two officers has been, yeah, it, it, it is what it is. I've not unlocked any officers, but I know some free-to-play players have been able to. So, congratulations. Um, really do enjoy them. Next one is the officer that's been in our SLBs for the first two weekends of the month. Uh, captain ability is obviously decreasing your shield mitig sorry, it, it decreasing the invading entities um, shield mitigation. So a little bit niche there. We'll talk about that event a little bit later. And never surrender, increasing your apex barrier by two thousand. Uh, max size five thousand when fighting hostiles. So that's actually nice to give you that little bit of apex barrier as well. So. Um, I personally wouldn't call him, and obviously you literally have to go after, but he definitely could be advantageous when the invasion comes around. And then you got Gwen DeMarco. Um, now, I'm pleased to say that there is actually sourcing in the game already for her, which comes through the invasions. Again, we'll talk about that just shortly. But the drips are slow. But she's a below deck officer, so increasing isolated damage as a bridge officer against invading entities so good idea to pair her up with um jason nesbitt there and then obviously put potentially um i don't know yeah lala La 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 on the other side so at least then you get that full synergy um for it i mean at the end of the day i i, I won't know I don't, I don't have a single one of these officers. Um, blood deck abilities, hold please. Increasing isolated damage when in PvP. Any player has any state. So this is a pretty lethal one. Team it up with um, 7 of 9 below deck. And you're looking at a pretty decent isolated blast there. So absolutely. I, I would definitely say for PvP players, this is definitely one to go for. If you so wish. Um... So, officers on the whole, yeah, okay, the two rares are definitely ones I could see uh, being more valuable to free-to-play players than potentially the epic. So, yeah, okay, it is what it is. I'm not going to grade any more. It's just literally giving the opinion of the month. And then, obviously, we'll talk about this one quickly. The first officer in the game, actually, to have all three levels here. So, now, obviously, she's coming in on the Emerald Chain, um, side of things, not the Orion Syndicate, so a bit sad there. But the first one is cube triangulation, so basically increasing your jump efficiency for the ball cube. Okay, yep, that's the captain's ability. Don't know what you're going to do about your combat efficiency just using that though. Um, next up is increasing the base damage of the ball cube's cutting beam against players, so giving you that little bit of a boost. I mean, 150% as well at rank 5. Yeah, okay, in grand scheme of things, it's not really going to be an awful lot 
Well, actually, 150% now would probably say, yeah, you might get a, a fair bit because it is all base damage, in it? So, next one is for the repair. Um, if you put a blow deck, is repairing the cost efficiency of the ship. So, that could be literally any ship. doesn't have to be the ball cube. But 750% and rank 5, so that's going to be a, a significant saving in your Tritanium and Dilithium. So, in all, the officers aren't particularly too bad. I wouldn't exactly say go running out to get them with the exception of the two rares re realistically um they've got more in-game ability of spread across a little bit more um but that's just my opinion i mean let me know what you think in the comment section down below so next time we're going to move on to the features of this month and see what we really think now, moving on from the officer side of things, moving to the features, we're going to start with the quality of life update that was also dropped into the game this month, and that will be the new sliders put into the standard, premium, and ultra. Absolutely top notch. Thank you very much. They have also been added to the trans uh, transporter patterns. Again, we can show you that. So basically, it looks like I can just claim up, well, a maximum 40,000. Obviously, I've only got 3,000, so that's really not going to be an awful lot for me. Now, the downside to this is going to be um, a lag problem, which, again, we're going to show you here with the premium. So if I go for the max pull here, it takes time to actually do. I mean, it's a great addition. Don't get me wrong. It's going to make it easy to get through all these tokens. But look, I can sit here and rabbit it and rabbit it and rabbit it, and it's still not done anything. It's still not done it. Oh, finally. How long was that? 10, 15 seconds? Something like that. But let's get let's get the skip done. We don't care what we got, so but no, it to be honest with this one with the premiers, it's given me a decent whack of off sub XP. So yeah, you got a fair whack of um, premium. You might as well go out and do it, might you? Might as well. Same with the standard as well. It hasn't been added into the any any of the other ones, but again, the transport pans it has been added, and again. You can get up to 50. Realistically, 50 is a lot better than doing a 10 pull, and it makes a, um, it cuts down the number of button pushing by 20, by a whopping 80%. I will give you that; it cuts it down by 80%. But again, 50 is a limit. Really, could do with going a bit further on that. But good quality of life update on that one. Okay, next up um, as another feature added was the expansion to the Mirror Universe. Already a pain in the ass of a grind as it is, unless you get into G5, in which case it's easy just to send your Nova out and mine it. Um, but obviously we've got this expansion here. As you can see I've got two systems highlighted. I did do a, vid um, a video covering this in the video for the NSE Protector. And obviously we showed in there the Nova just literally getting blown up before it had a chance to get anywhere near because these are literally all... Mine feet, they're all subjected to these um, mines. The only ship that can enter here is the NSA protector. So basically, you've got to be Ops 40 and above with the NSA N NSEA protector to actually have any hope in hell's chance in here. So, yeah, you can't do bugger all unless you've got the ship, which segues nicely into the ship itself. So here's the ship then, as you can see, I've got 60 out of 200 blueprints. There are some free-to-play players that I nearly got half the um, blueprints available, so brilliant <coughs> to you guys. Um, so it has got free-to-play sourcing in the game. It comes with um, a number of abilities, which is in this um, Omega-13 device, which basically allows you to survive a battle. Um, but it does not work if you are attacked by a ball cutting beam or destroyed by those great spatial hazards and it allows you to also allow any of your other ships in the same system to also get a little bit of whole health back and survive so basically it's um that romian officer of the mets um ability it's just now been put into a ship and of course it's got its own field repairs as well but again you're going to need to unlock that so to actually get it working then obviously two other abilities one is increasing the amount of damage you do against the mirror hostiles so which is going to be good for going after those new ones in that expansion area space and raw trillium mining increase as well so that's that's a nice boost there so basically you could probably look at dropping your nova and actually just using this thing to do anything to, to do with the mirror universe whether it's grinding or it's mining 
So, but again, I won't get this ship for a few months. So again, we'll do a video when that actually comes around. And then obviously it's got this uh, special ability, is ability at the bottom here, is immune to the magnetic minefield hazard in the mirror universe. So yeah, it's got its protection of 5,000. You saw what the boost was in that area, it's 5,000. So yeah, it is it'll be able to fly through them no problem now moving on to the um I, i'm just trying to think i'm sure there was another feature that there was for me to put in um i can't think of it off the top of my head but realistically the features haven't really been much of a sell this month realistically in all honesty i i can't say they've been much of a sell from what I've heard that the NSA protector does cut the grind down in the mirror universe if you use it effectively. But again, it's you need the officers to go with it as well. Like Alexander Dane on the bridge of this ship. So, But it's down to you guys on how you feel about all this. So let's move on to the events because yeah, we've got an extra event to actually look at. So events this month have been littered with some heroics, which is pretty normal as well. When we get the new ship, we got the heroics and build it and upgrade it. So yeah, that falls on you guys if you actually bought it to actually do that, if you really wanted to. Um, then we've also got um, this, which is the new skins that was brought out for the NSC Protector. I'm not going to go over the refits because... That they are what they are. If you haven't got the ship, then you're not going to be slightly interested in them. But do they provide value? Yeah, I suppose you could say that with the um, Series Skin one. But again, it's not something I've really delved into and actually had a look at. Um, now, there was another event that's not um, listed here. And that is a Siphon event that they brought out this month. Um, which required you to basically go watch a couple of... Um, videos from the content creators most notably lube and dj then you also had to go on the discord to catch um, obsidian hamsters part um yeah it, it there's reddit there's discord there's facebook it, it was just like really you want players in the game and you're sending them off game to watch videos and check out social media is that what you really want for your game? I don't. So I, I was not best impressed with that idea. But I just waited for the answers to come out. And I went around it. But the idea behind it. Of doing the cipher to chase down certain things. Fantastic idea. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic idea. Going to specific ship um, systems. Um, getting down all the symbols. And then waiting the following day for the actual cipher itself. So you can actually try and tr translate it all and see what you had to do. It And basically, it was just basically go kill 37 hostiles. Was it 37 or was it 31? I think it was 37 hostiles in one particular system just to complete it. That was it. So, and the rewards for it weren't particularly that good neither, in all honesty. So, great idea. Very bad execution. Just <laughs> just like the that tournament. Um, another feature that was... Uh, thing that was brought in this month was the um invasions which sees us traveling to another system um well traveling to different locations within the galaxy with that flag on them and to kill the new uh freight fray to prey hostiles um bit of a grind behind it to actually do it on a daily basis for three days luckily it's only for three days though it's not all month long because it's like the loot that they drop, I need 6 million of that loot just to do anything in the event store for it. But then again, on days 2 and 3, you're going up to the, um, this little area of space here. And it's not activated right now, but when it is activated, get rid of that. Um, you'll see Ceres' um, green alien ship highlighted here. So basically going in here, killing the Crimea in um, a murders that are not a murders. Let's bring that in. Um, I will say that they are a great idea. The fact that you're having these Amadas and standard Amada um, crew don't work on them. So that's a great idea. So it's bringing back some of the old... Um, you've got to think about some of the old formations that you had. Like Kirk, Khan and... Um, 
Gorkin, something like that. Um, I'm just trying to think of what hostiles I used to. Also, like Kirk, Spock, and um, Khan, um, Gorkin, using it for your hull breach. Um, but yeah, so looking at some of the older cards, and it's great to see some of the old officers finally getting some love back in the game after years in the dark. So, but yeah, so that wasn't particularly too bad, but it's a great way to source Gwen DeMarco and also the NSA Protector, where you can pull 12 shards every single day for three days. So that's 36 shards in total. I missed a day, so which basically means I didn't get to that um, 72, and I'm not quite sure how some of the free to play got to 70, uh, 98, but it's great that they have. But how often is that going to come around? Well, we don't know. Incursions were supposed to be a monthly thing. For the second month in a row, Incursions has been cancelled due to lag problems. So, yeah. It's, it's just one of those things. How often will it come around? Your guess is as good as mine. We've had it twice this month so far. But I, I, I really can't see Scopely wanting to run that more than once a month at least. So you're potentially looking at... For starting out with the blueprints for the NS NSEA protector, you are looking around about six months potentially to actually do that. And that seems to be a little bit of a new thing with the um, ships now. 200 blueprints, six month pulls, unless they give you the option of a double pull. Which is what we had with the NX-01 and... Um, oh, we've got with the... Um, We've got 14 shards a week available with the Eviscerator. So it, it is a shame that Scopely have gone down that line. The fact that they're making it a little bit harder for free to play to get these ships now. Really pushing that. Um, no, if you want it, you're going to have to spend. But speaking of spending, let's have a look at the Battle Pass. So this month we've had two battle passes. This is currently the second one which ends in um, just under seven days. The first one was uh, focused on the Galaxy Quest. Whereas this one is actually focused on this particular month. Now obviously as the month's finished as you can tell by the fact we have Return of the Mega Cube here at the time of recording. Day one. Um, the arc has actually ended so this is carrying on. Will we see an Officer Flash Pass this month? My... Theory is no, we're not going to see one because they've done this. And what this has basically done is if you wanted to do the elite side of the battle pass, which is what I like to do, because I like all the extra resource and materials. I mean, look at the amount of Syndicate XP on the bottom here, just on the bottom alone. 18,000 and 13,500, that's a whopping amount for me. That could actually get me pretty close to the, um, oh, the um, level 36 Syndicate. It can get me really close to it. But I'm not going to be able to because at the end of the day, I bought the Battle Pass earlier in the month. I bought the first one. And because of family finances, I don't have the money to buy this one. I don't really have the money to buy the Officer Flash Pass in between the arcs. Because money becomes tighter around that time of the month. Just the way it is. So for me, this has been about Scopely really saying if you want to... If you want it, you're going to have to spend. And obviously, because I, I don't think we're going to get that flash pass. Basically, they're telling you now, instead of paying $10, say, tw um, $10 for the pass, you'll have to spend 20 to get this. But then again, this doesn't give you the extra officers. It's giving you some shards towards the new officers. That's about it. So it is a shame, really. But then again, what do you expect from Scopely? Who are all, all they're in it is to make money. That's it. I don't really think from the higher management level of side of Scopely, player enjoyment is part of it. It's all about how much money can we make. So, but it is a, at the end of the day, they can't make the game without money. Let's face reality here. They can't make the game without money. So, in a sense, it seems like a logical step to do this. But I don't like the idea. I really don't. Stick to the single battle pass and then give us a flash pass in the middle of the month. So, I mean, it's not making any difference when it comes to the overflow side of things. If we go to the overflow, I've already got the first overflow. The Officer Flash Pass, again, would give me my Broken Decealing Rods, the same as the original Battle Pass does, the 28 um, loyalty days. So, at the end of the day, it's not giving me any extra um, de Broken Decealing Rod parts. 
The only thing it's given me is latinum. That's it. Because the flash pass does not contain latinum. It contains officer shards. Whereas this pat this overflow actually does contain latinum. The last one did as well. So realistically, no, I'm not a big fan. Yes, it's given me double the amount of resources. If I buy that $20 battle pass. Both times. Yeah, I... I I know what you say, you can always save that $20, Pegasus, you can save that $20, yes. But then, that's me saving $20, which I might need to use to put food on the table for my kids, and that's more important than paying Scopely. So, but anyway, um, so moving on to communication, now let's get this wrapped up. Communication hasn't been particularly too bad this month, it's not been the best, but we have had communications about various different things, and we obviously had the announcement about the Battle Pass, um... Not so, not the battle pass. We had the announcement about incursions not running again this month. Um, also, the communication about some modifications made to the NSA and NSEA protector. Um, it came out pretty good, but obviously had to have its um, um, blah, blah, blah. its stats on the mining and damage to the hostiles altered a bit, shooting them up absolutely, shooting them up. So, it makes it really valuable for free to play players that ship. So, great, great on communication. Again, can't grumble too much. Stability for the game has been hit and miss because I've had a few crashes even on my laptop. But I will say at least that visual bug from the recruit section has um, disappeared this time round. But I'm sure that will rear its head again at some point. So, stability hasn't been too particularly too bad, but a-ho. And, um, yeah, done quality of life. Yeah, that's it. So, overall, this month, I'm not going to say it's been a great month, in all honesty. Realistically, the big main features have been a bit of a letdown. There's been a, there's a, been a couple of good points, but I realistically can't say I'm going to grade it any higher than a D. Literally, I'm not. So, there's just been... The... There's just been nothing wanting to keep me engaged in the game. The Cypher thing, fantastic idea. Very poorly executed, very poorly done. Great idea, but I'm sorry, we should not be leaving the game. The Alliance tournaments, as some, as some, a lot of people have been saying, it's dead on arrival. I don't personally think it was, but again, it was spend to really participate. It was spend, spend, spend. I'm sorry, we don't want a game where you've got to spend a flipping fortune for it. If you want that. Then go go on to games like World of Warcraft. They've just had a new release. And I'm sure that's going to be fantastic. They don't do monthly releases. They do a release once every 6 to 12 months I think it is. A new part of the game. Really working it. Making sure it functions brilliantly. And it comes out and it's a bloody hit. And it makes them. And it makes. Is it still Blizzard Entertainment do, do it? Makes them freaking lots of money. Scopely Elite released content every single month in this game. And the last few months it's not been very good. Not been very good whatsoever. But Galaxy Quest, whether we like it or not, was coming. Is it the end of Galaxy Quest? I do not know. There's still at least two officers. The Helm Officer and that um, Security Officer with no name. <laughs> Is it, who ends up um, dating that um, alien, doesn't he? Um, well, anyway. So... That's it for me. It is a D. I'm sorry. I, I can't I can't honestly grade it in any higher. But let me know what you think of the month. Was it enjoyable for you? Did you really like the content? Or would you actually just prefer them to stick to actual Star Trek? You know where to drop it. Comment section down below. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Anyway, I'm Admiral Pegasus. Thank you for joining me. Never give up. Never surrender. Nah. Don't fit. Live long and prosper. Stay safe, everybody. And I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.